I recently came across this chart from the company Coinbase, which shows the value of Bitcoin over time. Now, I'm not a big crypto guy, but I was interested in particular to see how they did the visualization. Now, this is basically an area chart, but one thing that's particularly interesting about it is that it doesn't have just a normal fill. Instead, you can see it actually uses a pattern for the fill. And that made me wonder, is there a way to do this in R? Of course there is. There's a package called ggpattern, which will enable me to do almost exactly the same thing. Let me show you how. Okay, I'm in our studio. I'm not going to make a chart about Bitcoin. I'll make one about life expectancy over time, but same idea. I've loaded the tidyverse, ggpattern, and the gapminder package. I'm using the gapminder package to get a data frame just on Afghanistan life expectancy. You can see what it looks like here. Next, I am going to create the basis of my chart. So I've got a bunch of styling stuff here, and it's not really relevant for me to show you all that. So let me just show you what this looks like when I run a life expectancy chart, which I've created. Now, if I'm making an area chart, I might by default do something like this, where it makes an area chart. And you can see that that blue is just filled. Now, the cool thing with GG pattern is it's really simple to create a pattern in an area chart. You can see here, instead of using GM area, I'm using GM area pattern. Let me go ahead and run this and then I'll talk about some of the arguments. All right, so here's our chart. You can see that I am using pattern equals circle. So that's a bunch of little circles here. I'm setting the color and the fill. So basically making each of those circles kind of use that blue. I'm setting the spacing. This color here is for the line on the top. Line width also controls the width there, and then fill equals transparent. So just to show you if I adjust some of these, for example, if I adjust the spacing, you can see it's a lot less. So if I do like I don't know, somewhere in the middle, we end up with something like that. This is just the briefest of overviews to the GG pattern package. There are a number of different options, and it works with basically any GM you want to use it with. So check it out and let me know what you make with GG pattern. That's it for today. Hope you learned something useful. If you want to get tips like this in your email, sign up at rfortherestofus.com newsletter.